everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart. And speaking of the smartest people, only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button and they rang that bell and they turned on all notifications so they can be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. Seriously guys, it's free for you and it means the absolute world to me. I just made it to 2,000 subscribers not too long ago, but let's get even higher guys. Let's Let's show the world that we love Supreme Commander 2 and other RTS games. Maybe I'll do more. I've been covering Sanctuary lately, so let's see. Let's see. Anyhow, guys, my band has released a single a few months ago back in February. Click the link down below to check it out. We're called Black It Out. The song is called Reflections. And a new one's coming out May 2nd, so be on the lookout for that. And guys, my April Fool's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Ha ha, he he. Yeah, I do it every year. Well, I, I'm not every year, but I do it now. But yeah, so this replay was labeled Good Replay. Let's see if it actually is a good replay. The map is Tourney Dome, and I gotta say I love this map. Every time I stream, I just enjoy playing it. Lots of people don't like it, but I enjoy it, because there's a lot of shenanigans that could happen here. And I hate that word shenanigans. Why did I say it? Whatever. So, Kitty Litter is... Caddy, is, he's going by, is popping up. Maybe he's in this match. Probably not. But it's Tourney Dome. It's a 4v4 match. Sometimes 2v2, v2, 2v2, v2. But it's, it's 4v4. So over here we got Team 1, where my cursor's going over. Or Team, what do you call that, left? Or Team West. And Team East, where my cursor's going over right now. Or Team 2, or... Did I say Team East? Team Left? Team Right? Team East? You know what I mean. You're, you're smart. You, you subscribed. So let's get this back to zero, and let's talk about the players. We got Unknown Desire spawning in as the white UEF commander, dropping down a bunch of eco, and queuing up an air factory, so he is the air player. Guys, whenever you play this map, usually it's two air, two land. That is usually how this is played. Sometimes it's three air, sometimes it's all air, and it's very surprising. And then we got rainbows and unicorns spawning in as the blue Sovereign Commander dropping down some eco. Then a wall of research stations. Research stations, I didn't say that quite right. I usually, personally, I usually do three, then walk a little bit, and then get my fourth one. But she wants to get all four right now. Maybe she's doing a little bit different of a build than I do. And then we got Jack23 spawning in as the Teal Aeon Commander, dropping down a double land factory opener. You know what? I don't like where this is placed, because it's going to take forever for them to get out there. However, it could work. I've seen this work. Uh, it works sometimes, but reinforcements are very, very slow. And then we got Nuclear Pizza spawning in as the green UEF Commander dropping down a triple research station opener. I'm a little worried about Team 1's air. Their air presence is only one air player. But two... So I'm going to talk about it real quick. Some people don't like me stopping to talk about it. Get over it. I, I do analysis. Anybody, you should know that. But yeah, uh, we got... Two research players and one land player, dedicated land player. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem for the air player, like really bad. So I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Nezera, you know what? You're, you're Nez, you're Neza, Neza spawning in as the purple UF commander, dropping down a double air factory opener and a research station. So pretty good, pretty balanced air build there. And then we got who's red. We got Killer Ito, 04, spawning in as the red. Why did I say Siren? Red always has me conditioned to say Siren. The red Aeon Commander dropping down a research station and a bunch of energy. And he's getting his land factory up front. Not a bad idea at all. And then we got Nebula 2 spawning in as the Lime Green Siren Commander dropping down a triple research station opener. And then we got, who's brown? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I can't even find him. Wow. I'm really bad about that. We got BG underscore AFTF. Gonna be called BG for now on. Spawning in as the brown Aeon Commander. Dropping down a double air factory opener. So we got two air versus one. So let's speed this up. So we get some more action. I like how Jack is, I would like to see Jack going back and forth between these, between those 
factory is doing the commander trick, but he's already got a sizable fa uh, group of units to fight. He's probably going to get the anti-air upgrade. That's definitely the smartest thing to do. Unknown Desire using some of his research points to get over here. I don't know if I completely agree with that, but it's Unknown Desire. So, I think he's allowing his teammates to get all this mass up front. And he's just, he's just going to get the four mass extractors back here, which isn't a bad idea. So, yeah. I mean, and he's going to get four. Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea at all. He's got eight more mass extractors. Let his teammates get these two. Maybe we'll get these two as well, and he's going to have more mass. That means more air factories. So him being at a deficit right now means he will come back later. He's a UEF. And UEF gets air really builds air really really fast so pretty good that move there by jack moving through there with two little units we got nebula coming out with two count them two gantries and we got rainbows and unicorns with a single gantry already pumping out units an air fight which is all it's going to completely wipe out unknown desires air force <clears throat> He was doing well until the reinforcements came. He was doing great until those reinforcements came. But fighting over anti-air, always a wise decision. Wise decision. Wow, looks like Brown already has, BG already has holos. Holo redirecting flare? No, he just has shields. Very, very powerful, makes those units very tanky. Unknown Desire's little base over here has been found out. But BG's use, losing a lot of units in the process. Yeah, this is no threat to Unknown Desire's base. At least not a big one. Oh, it looks like... Nuclear Pizza has transitioned to air himself. So that's going to be really, really strong. And, oh, Unknown Desire, you are... I mean, if you've got the... You've got the Star Lifter, might as well make good use of it. This is really not the place you want to land, though. This is definitely not the place you want to land. An Air Player, an Aeon Air Player. Yeah, it's been seen. Oh, he wants this area. It's going to be fine. It's going to get there. It's going to get there, yeah. But will those engineers be okay? That's the question. They better build... Oh, they're repairing that. Better build an anti-air real fast. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I would like to see an anti-air being built right there. That would... Yeah. Engineers, those they're not going to... Well, at least that got finished. But this engineer has one more pass, and he, he's done, so. Yeah, even anti-air wouldn't have cut it. You know, even anti-air right there wouldn't have done it. But if that survives for, like, I don't know, 50 seconds, it'd pay for itself. They left it alone! But what a push. What a push. This is a very strong push. Cicadas allowing the... Oh! Structure detonate, nicely done there. Spooking, spooking Killerito. Killerito was like, nah, brah. But oh wait, another cicada, yeah. Cicadas do some great work. <clears throat> so the combined air forces of Nuclear Pizza and Unknown Desire are quite formidable right now. Nuclear Pizza is getting some... Some air gantry, so that's strong. Jack just chilling in Unknown Desire's base. Not needed anymore. Probably might want to divert those units to the main fighting force. Once Jack gets teleported, that's going to be very, very hard to deal with. So yeah, Neza commander's being lazy. I don't like that. Definitely should be doing the commander trick, going back and forth and repairing. Good solution to this problem is to just simply build factory TML. One would have done it, but two does it faster. That thing paid for itself, though. So Unknown Desire actually 
made money off of that deal. Not much, but he did. Well, maybe not, actually. He lost the Starlifter and two engineers, so I don't know if he made money. But he made money off of that that mass extractor. That mass extractor was it only cost 50 to make, and it was up for more than a minute, so yeah. Yeah, Nevula has a very scary, very scary force right there. All wall protected. Adapters supporting that. And Harvogs with anti-air. Yeah, you don't want to bomb this. You're not. It's not going to work out well. Yeah, it was smart to go over here to attack. Yeah, Nuclear Pizza sending his... Wow, that, that didn't work out too well. <clears throat> wow, Nuclear Pizza being scouted. They're saying, there he is! Get him! But I don't think they're going to have enough to take him out. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Ooh. Teleporting bots right in his base. That is... It's good that he's got the uh, the point defense on all this stuff here. That's a really good upgrade to have. Maybe Nuclear Pizza is going to be taken out. Yeah, I... Things aren't going his way right now. I think he's actually going to be down and out. Yeah. I think that's all... That's all she wrote for Nuclear Pizza here. And I didn't even say my joke in 30 minutes or less, or else it's free. And poor Nuclear Pizza, man. First guy out. One of the best players in the world, hands down. Gone. Just like that. But yeah, this side got breached, and that's what happens. So a megalith fight in the center. We all love our megalith fights. Yeah, loyalists are definitely going to... Loyalists. Did I do that again? You know, I was playing a live stream and people made a joke about that. I was on a live stream and they said, Oh yeah, he's the guy who mixes up adapters and loyalists. Yep, it's true. I think, uh, I think Alphax actually made that joke first. Well, I don't know who it was, but it was a long time ago. And they made a drinking game out of it. Don't don't drink to me doing that. You'll you'll end up in the hospital. Or worse. Just don't do it. And if you're gonna drink, drink responsibly. Be be smart about it. Be smart, please. That's all I'm saying. Nice scouting there by Neza, dude. Neza is smart to scout. Always gotta see what your opponents are doing. Jack 23. Building up, very, very smart. Very good to build up. Now, Unknown Desire is back to being the only air player. But look at this. He's got a lot of mass extractors. And look at all those air factories. That is just absurd. He's picking a fight with Neza. Smart move. His teammate is distracted. We got BG not there to help out with the air fight. He's going to get there, but it might be too late. Might be too late. But as that's happening, we got a land fight. Jack teleporting his units in. Definitely not smart to do because of, well, bomb bouncers. Before I said it, it happened. Before I said it, it happened. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely not fun when that happens. But very well done by, by Nevula. Nice little bombing run, taking out a factory of Jacks. Good move. Jack moving his units back to support Unknown Desire's Air Force. Unknown Desire is going to be at a disadvantage this whole time. Really, adapters are needed. Yeah, Team Team East or Team 2 or Team Right, whatever you want to call them, are really building up in the center, and that is the wisest thing you could do. That allows for multiple mass points, like four more. Well, they only, they're only they only able to hold two or three right now. They're only hold, able to hold three. But as I'm saying that, yeah. 
Another one goes down. Yeah, this is a crazy match. Definitely need to keep a bomb bouncer with the ACUs. One per ACU. Yeah, that is crazy. So much stuff happening. Whoever has the best cicadas are going to win this. But I think rainbows and unicorns are it's slowly... They're slowly folding. But then again, rainbows and unicorns has a, two cicadas up. And their opponents don't have any. So the tides are now changing. That bomb bouncer gets taken out. It means air will be much more viable in the area. What is Killerito building? Oh boy, he's got an experimental gantry. So maybe he's going to have some air nomos? Probably not worth it. There we go, got some snails, some urchin nows. Definitely not the most powerful of units. I know Desire is sitting here completely unprotected. Yeah, this could be real bad if... Is it BG? No. I forget who's who Brown is, but if they get through, it's over for Unknown Desire, yeah. That air fight. Air fights are always really hard to keep track of who's winning. But it's not Unknown Desire. Unknown Desire is not winning this one. Yeah, they're pointing at his ACU. His ACU is under a factory shield. He's probably like, oh man. <laughs> He's got two shields, so he'll be okay for a while. Where's that anti-air, buddy? Jack to the rescue, dude. Wow, Unknown Desire has really mustered a bunch of... of air units. That was... Pretty good teamwork. Jack, I got to hand it to you. Even though you started way in back, I mean, that that's working out. It's really working out. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Killerito's now teleporting in. Killerito's not having any of it. Yeah, Killerito's saying, guess what, Jack? You're donezo. Or is it Killerito's Dunzo? I don't know. Whoa! Killerito just said, I'm out. Killerito's gonna teleport in. There he is. He's gonna put some work in. The point defense on the mass points and research stations are really gonna be doing some work. Will they be able to minimize damage? Jack teleports in. And damage has been quite minimal. A lot of free mass for Unknown Desire right now. A lot of fighting happened over, over his base. They really wanted to take him out. One factory dead out of all that. And a mass extractor. That was maybe two? No? That wasn't worth it. For Killerito, that was not worth it. For Brown, who is Brown? B Brown's BG, right? Yeah, for BG, that wasn't worth it. Now, does Killerito have some snails? Yes, Killerito has some snails. They're not being pushed forward yet. They're not the best experimental unit on the planet by no means at all. But they're still they still soak up a lot of damage. Yeah, Unknown Desire scouting, that's the right thing to do. So, Rainbows and Unicorn Cicada is doing very, very well. Yeah, like I said, these snails, they're not going to do much. Look how they don't have very much range. But they will soak up damage. Yeah, I like to see those snails push forward. 
Like, just go around the bottom. Yeah, a bunch of megaliths dying. Oh, that's Cicada gonna go down. Oh, that's a big loss. That's a pretty big loss. Oh, yeah, you don't just want to leave him there. Oh. Dead. Cicada just walking right there to die. Not even on. Yeah, that Cicada's done so. Or gonna be captured. So, loyalty gun. Jack built a loyalty gun. So, Jack 23. Awesome job. Really good job there. <laughs> In the, in the beginning, I'm all, oh, Jack, you're building way too far back. Well, Jack will prove you wrong, buddy. Bucko. Yeah, taking their cicadas off the field like that, smart. That's what you do want to target, the cicadas. You take out their cicadas, you could, oh, just turn it on. No, leave it there. Yeah, take their mass extractors too, might as well. Free mass. Cause them to destroy their own stuff. In a TML? Come on. Okay, nicely done there. Looks like there is being a there's a loyalty gun being built. <laughs> Two loyalty guns for Well, who is that? Jack built two loyalty guns. And I think Killerito's building two. Air fight that Unknown Desire is indeed winning. Because look at that. Look at that. That is so much. So many. He's even switched to bombers. <clears throat> What's he going to go after though? He's going after Killerito. Is he? No. Yes, he is. I don't think that's going to work, but, you know, good old, good try. <clears throat> so it's now a loyalty gun fight. <clears throat> wow, that factory got taken over. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Losing cicadas like that. Mm -mm. Okay, are they going to capture a loyalty gun? Yeah, Killerito's loyalty gun is winning the loyalty gun capturing fight. And if you lose the loyalty gun capturing fight, it's over. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. It's over. Unknown Desire with the little air fight action going on. But I really want to keep an eye on this. Good job there, Jack. Jack saves the day. By destroying a loyalty gun. If that loyalty gun was left to survive, this would have been game over for Team 1. Team 1 would have been just done. It's over. Killerito not giving up on the loyalty gun fight at all. Neva with his AC1Ks. Killerito. Smelling blood in the water, trying to take out as many Harvogs as possible. Jack lost a lot of forces, but look, he's got a bunch of reinforcements. Might want to push him forward. Jack has two bases. He needs to keep building. I, I wonder if he's floating mass. He's got a ooh, a space temple. That's gonna be that's gonna be spicy. Very, 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 very uh very balanced, if you will. Yeah, Nebula's having a really hard time getting through. <clears throat> now that's smart. See, Killerito is targeting loyalty guns. That loyal all your loyalty gun belong to us. That is devastating. If they get that nuke silo, oh yeah, they're not gonna get that. That's a devastating loss. What happened? Neza died somehow.
Did Unknown Desire snipe him? Or did Jack do his thing? I don't know. I wanted to make that like... Is that the bite of 87? Like, you know, Michael, Michael Plyer or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know if that would work right there. So, probably don't, better, best off not to do that. You better move your units, Jack. What are you doing, Jack? There's a nice shield, a group of shields there. That's, that makes us really strong, but they should have really fortified this area too. Freshly born, freshly killed. Poor little Megalith. Yeah, taking out production, that's a really good move there for Team 2. Yeah, Team 2 is just running by. They don't care. They don't need to breach this. They're right. All they have to do is get through. Just get through. This is going to be devastating. Jack is going to... Jack's... Y'all know what I'm going to say. I'm in danger. Jack's in danger. Where'd he go? Where'd he die? I guess he was right there and he died. Oh, Killerito! Killerito says... Two could play at this game. Here's some... Um, Universal Colossi for you to play with, bucko. And, um, yeah, rainbows and unicorns. I'm in danger. Yeah, you are. You 100% are. And they're not even going to kill her. There you go. Have some courtesy to at least kill the person. My goodness. You went through all that trouble killing their friends, killing all their stuff. Might as well take them out. Boom! Down goes rainbows and unicorns. So, yeah, team one is uh, in danger. But, yeah. I don't think that's going to work out, killing Nebula. If they take out Nebula, they'll, they'll have a somewhat of a fighting chance. Not really. Yeah, I got that Disruptor Station. Not a bad move at all. Wow. Looks like Unknown Desire is loaded up and ready to go. He's probably going to try to one last stand with his ACU, maybe. And there's Killerito. Ooh, he's in the red. I think yo, he was being targeted by those bombers. And here we go! Boom! Down he goes. Now, that's a big loss for Team 2. A huge loss. Because now there's no way for these things to make be any use. Because Unknown Desire's here and here. There's no use. The only viable threat right now is BG. BG's the only threat right now. <clears throat> Unknown Desire could still win this, but he can't fly over bomb bouncers like that. Yeah, these things could just destroy all this stuff, but they, they, they're not worth anything. If they get Nebula, this could be... Oh, Unknown Desire, what are you doing? Yeah, that wasn't a great idea there. I think he knows it's over. And... Boom! And down goes Under Desire and Nivola. And there's only one ACU left alive. And that was BG. If Unknown Desire was able to take out Nivola, he might have been able to defeat BG. He might have been able to do it. Because that would have allowed it to open up this area and this area for him to reclaim and turn into research you know resources he can make he could build mass extractors and that would take out all of those those megas and bomb bouncers all that stuff so he could do that he could slowly rebuild bg would only have an air force that is it that's all he's focused his economy on everything is research and he could have slowly lost because Unknown Desire has so many more air factories. It would have been a long fight. And if he would have went right for the throat, BG could have won that. But, you know, you never know. So, yeah, that was an amazing match.
It was called Good Game, and I, I want to say it wasn't, a, it wasn't good. It was amazing. It was phenomenal. Lots of stuff happened. Sorry if I missed some of it, but you know what, guys? I'm only human. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So, yeah, thank you for sending me this. Killerito, he sent this to me back in February. I said, yeah, I'll look at it in March. Totally forgot about it. Sorry, dude. And uh, he, here we are doing it. So, thank you, Killerito. You are a great guy. Thank you for doing that. By the way, Killerito joined the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. And you should too. Q Alpha Hexes Discord. Add now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world? With over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now! Yeah guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite it. No, wait, where am I? Yeah, like this video, where am I? Yeah, I'm casting. My name is Still Speaks. <laughs> I'm just playing, but like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite it because it helps because that helps me out. Send your good replays to Still Speaks at gmail.com or do like Killerito did. He joined the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server, just like I said, and he direct messaged me. Or you could do like a lot of other people do. Find hashtag replays for Still Speaks on the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. Upload your replay there and at me. And just wait. Just wait. And I'll, I'll look at it. I usually look at those at least once a month. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Killerito, for sending me this replay. So, guys, comment down below. Say something nice about the players, about the game, about the match. It was a phenomenal match. Hopefully, you guys all thought so, too. Thank you, Killerito. You could even comment down below, down below and just say, thanks, Killerito, because that was pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah. Say something nice, because we need more positivity in this world. Who knows what crazy thing is going to be on the news soon. Because, you know, things are things are sad, man. There, there, there's a lot of good in the world. And we really need to highlight that. That's why I want you to be positive in the comment section. Because who knows what these people are going through. So let's just be nice to each other. Can we do that? Please be. Please do. Thanks, guys. You are amazing. So, yeah. If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page, click the link down below to get involved with that. A big shout out to Alpha Hex, Novitrix, and Iron Commander. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being patrons. And if you want to support me in a way that isn't a monthly subscription, check out my band's music. You can buy it anywhere music is streamed or sold. Really, where it's sold is where you buy stuff, right? Apple Music, Google Play, Google, I don't even know if Google Music, whatever it's called now. And I'm going to direct you to bandcamp.com because you can buy all my band's music for $2.90, and like 90 cents, less than that maybe. Less than $3, you can buy all my band's music, which is amazing. A great deal for a lot of stuff. And it's just going to get more expensive, but you're going to get more stuff. So yeah, check that out. Next, uh, come May 2nd, it's going to go up about 10 cents. So yeah. So yeah, if you want to support me in another way, you don't want to spend any money. You don't need to tell me why. I don't need to know why. Yeah, I understand. You don't need to spend money. It's your money, right? And if you want to support me, just watch my videos all the way through. Comment them. Like them. Share them with people who like this stuff. Listen to my band's music on Spotify all the way through. What? Listen to the listen to it all the way through. Share it with people who like that style of music. And also, check out my band's YouTube videos. Listen to those. Watch those videos all the way through. Like them. Share them with people who like that stuff. Comment them. That helps me out immensely. You would not believe how much that helps me out. Yeah. So that's one way to support me without paying a, paying a cent. Also, all right. So yeah. So I think I'm going to end this share with your friends, family, and foes. Because you need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G, G.